we are going to add a couple of things to our um, form and then when we click on the app we want to also display the information on the page so let's go into our form and get right into it so first of all we're going to provide uh, a layout so the layout we are going to provide we want to provide a vertical layout so that first name will come on top of the input the last name and this one as well so we have that let's see whether it works yes and we have it and you could see that by default because we've made our input required we get this nice asterisk red asterisk here okay so in addition to this we're going to add another button so let's just copy this mm, no let's copy this one oh you know what let's just do this take this off and then take this one off and let's call it reset and this is going to be a type of button so that it won't do any submission now what we want to do is on click we want to call the form instance and then reset fields yeah let's take a look at it and see all right so well i think it came down here we will, we will uh, change that design later but let's just provide some in and let's yeah so we are getting our form reset when we click on it and uh, let's see if we can uh change the layout a little all right let's move it here let's take it this one off i'm oh, sorry and let's take a look at it and see what happens okay seems like this has taken over mm -hmm. Let's uh, add it to it and see. All right. Okay. So I guess we have something going on here. Uh, let me do so a little styling. So margin left. Let's make it a 20 and see. Sorry, imagine right instead. So imagine right. And uh, we get something nice here. Yeah. Yeah. We can add, can reset. Okay. Okay, so this is what we will do. We are going to add a function or add some details to our handle uh, add form on the finish. Sorry, what we will do is when we set the values here, we want to close our form. The, uh, sorry, we want to close our drawer. Yeah, so let's how do we do that we're going to use a set show drawer and set it to true uh, sorry false so that it won't show now these values is actually i think this values is an object so all right i think we are logging it let's take a look at the shape and then 
see how we can manipulate it so add okay gone okay so an object all right so what we would do is inside here let's add a content a layout dot content and in it first name will be dot first name all right i think we should rather do something else what we will do is we should rather have um an array we should rather have an array for the values and then we should rather add it to you should push it so how do we do that we, let's uh, structure what will already be in the values and then let me change it and then we will add this object to it so it will be an array of objects yes and then we can sorry we can loop through the values so what we can do okay i think this will be the right time to introduce a table let's go let's use a table to display our data so let's see a table a table a table data entry nah. let me look for a table here all right let's pick a basic table yeah so a basic table we'll have this let's put it here let me move this from here let's import it let's put this here so let's just take a look at how it is when it's rendered so we see we get a nice table with um a pagination we're going to change these to first name last name phone number which will be the um column side so first name provide data index and a key last name to provide the same that's what we used to reference it in the data so last name same for this and phone number So that was, that was it for the columns now regarding the data source it seems like we provide a key we provide a name age and then so that's so instead of name age we're going to provide we're going to use a data index here or the key here we're going to use it to do for the this so let, let's take this one away so the first name will be this the last name will be this one and then the phone number will be this so last name this phone number which is uh, okay all right let's check it out 
okay so it's displaying, it's displaying nicely so what we want to do is we want to provide that in here when we are adding it to the values so this one is going to be a key so all right let's press handle the, so it's going to be data dot first name data dot last name and then data dot phone number and there's there's there is a quick way that we can just do this without doing all this you can just structure our data but what we need to make sure that the uh, fields uh, match what we we are expecting here now regarding the key thinking we Alright, what we will do is we will use the length of the values that already exist and add one to it. Yeah, let's go ahead and check it out. So now we have no data. Let's add some stuff. Hmm. Okay. Alright, so it seems like uh, something is wrong let's log okay nothing is wrong really it's just that we need to pass the values rather as the data source yeah okay let's go back and let's add so okay we have that we have that and we have that yeah that's nice we can change it and there we go so we have a nice table that displays the um contacts all right this look a little messy what we'll do is uh, in the next lesson we are going to um provide a side menu here a sidebar here and have um a, he a header here as well and then we'll be able and let's display this um table nicely in the middle then we can move this ad somewhere else 